Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Priyanka Gupta and today I am going to tell you about what is cell made up of and what is the structural organization of the cell. Let us deal with this topic. Cell. Cell it is made up of certain types of specific components within it that is known as what? Cell organelles. Cell जो होता है, different kinds of specific components से बना रहता है. जिसे हम क्या कहते हैं? Cell organelles कहते हैं. And because of the presence of these cell organelles, the cell is able to perform all its functions. इन cell organelles के presence के कारण हमारा cell सारे के सारे functions को perform कर पाता है आसानी से. And cell has different kinds of cell organelles to perform different kinds of functions like making new materials in the cell, clearing up the waste material, etc. Cell के पास different different kinds of cell organelles होता है कि वो different functions को perform कर सके, जैसे कि जब उसे new substances की जरूरत पड़ती है, उसे बना सके, और जब उसके पास जिन चीजों की अवशक्ता नहीं है, उसे बाहर निकाल सके. And these cell organelles together consist what basic unit of life that is known as cell. यही सारे organelles मिलकर क्या बनाते हैं हमारा basic unit of life बनाते हैं and this is the answer of uh, what is cell made up of. Cell is made up of cell organelles. Okay. And it is also interesting to know that all the cells are found to have same organelles irrespective of their functions and the organism in which they are found. हमारे जितने भी सेल्स होते हैं सारे के सारे सेल्स के पास क्या होता है सेम ऑर्गेनल्स होता है चाहे उनका फंक्शंस कुछ भी हो और वो किसी भी ऑर्गेनिजम्स में पाए जाते हैं एंड इफ वी ऑब्जर्व द सेल अंडर द माइक्रोस्कोप वी कैन सी दिस ऑर्गेनल्स वेरी क्लियरली एंड लेट्स नाउ सी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द सेल अंडर द माइक्रोस्कोप this is the picture of a microscope about which I have told you earlier that microscope first of all discovered by Anton von Leeuwenhoek in 1674. By observing the cell under the microscope, we see the structure of the cell like this. This is the picture of the cell. This is the image of the cell under the microscope. We can see all the organelles inside the microscope very clearly. Let us see some important features which can be seen in the microscope that is presence of the plasma membrane. Plasma membrane it is also known as the cell membrane and it is also known as what selectively permeable membrane because it is the first membrane in animal cell and second membrane in what plant cells. As you can see in the image, cell membrane is the first membrane in the animal cell and second membrane in the plant cell. Cytoplasma. Second one is the cytoplasma. Cytoplasma is a jelly-like fluid that fill inside the cell and it is made up of mostly with water and salt. It is present within the plasma membrane and which contains all the cell organelles inside it. Next one is the nucleus. Nucleus is a membrane bound organelle which is spherical in shape and present in both plant and animal cells that contains the genetic material that is DNA of eukaryotic organisms and it is the main component of each and every cell. That is why it is called as the control room of the cell. Another one is the cell wall which is present mostly in the plant cells and it is a layer that is found outside the specific cells like plant cells and are tough, flexible and sometimes rigid and they are made up of what? Cellulose. And the last one is what? Cell organelles about which we are going to deal with in class 9 biology are endoplasmic reticulum and uh, Golgi apparatus, lysosomes, mitochondria, plastid and vacuoles. Let us know some important features about these cell organelles. Endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum is an important organelle in all the eukaryotic cells. It plays a major role in the production, processing and transport of proteins and lipids. Second one is the Golgi apparatus. Golgi apparatus is also known as Golgi complex. Golgi body and simply Golgi and it is an organelle found mostly in the eukaryotic cells and it is helpful in the modification of what? Lipids and protein. Third one is the lysosome. Lysosome is an organelle which is found inside the cytoplasm of all the eukaryotic cells containing the degradative enzymes. That is why lysosome is known as what? Suicidal bag of the cell. Examination में हमेशा पूछा जाता है कि 
सुसाइडल बैग ऑफ द सेल किसे कहते हैं तो हम कहेंगे क्या लाइसोजोम्स को सुसाइडल बैग ऑफ द सेल कहते हैं नेक्स्ट वन इज द माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया आर मेम्ब्रेन बाउंड सेल ऑर्गेनल्स दैट हेल्प इन द सिंथेसिस ऑफ व्हाट एटीपी एंड दैट्स व्हाई इट इज नोन एज द पावर हाउस ऑफ द सेल एग्जामिनेशन में एक और क्वेश्चन पूछा जाता है कि पावर हाउस ऑफ द सेल किसे कहते हैं देन वी आर गोइंग टू आंसर दैट माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया इज नोन एज द पावर हाउस ऑफ द सेल नेक्स्ट वन इज द प्लास्टर्ड प्लास्टर्ड आर मेम्ब्रेन बाउंड ऑर्गेनल्स फाउंड इन द सेल्स ऑफ प्लांट्स एलगी एंड सम यूकैरिटिक ऑर्गेनिजम्स and it is divided into three types that is chromoplast chloroplast and leucoplast and we are going to deal with these cell organelles in detail in my upcoming videos so stay with me and last one is the vacuoles vacuoles is also membrane bound organelles found in all the plant cells and in some animal cells vacuoles are also known as a storage bubble of the cell because it contains some useful substance required for all the cells okay this is the end of my lecture i am going to tell about each and every cell organelles in detail in my upcoming videos so stay with me thank you all if you like my video then give me thumbs up and subscribe our youtube channel